Alright, what's up guys? Today we got a brand new style of video for you. It's the start of the MB2 Grand Prix Tournament. This is going to be a 12 week tournament that we're going to be participating in every single race and we're going to be trying to get a video out for you guys every single week. It's going to be a long but fun 12 weeks. Fortunately, the format for the Grand Prix is pretty simple. There's a maximum of 20 entries. Each driver will get two attempts in a 12 lap qualifying race. After that, the top 10 qualifiers will move on to the A event. The bottom 10 qualifiers will race in a B race and only the winner will advance to the A event. You got the rocket ship? I gotta try to go for your score now. Oh, yeah. We'll see if that's even possible. You're just too fast for me. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, oh you got it for sure, bro. For sure. I, I believe in you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope I get the race A event with you. Right, right. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we got qualifying first. Got lucky, we got a pretty decent cart. Hopefully we can make it in. If not, gotta get back to the drawing board in my racing. I knew I was gonna make the A event when I rolled out of pit lane and this thing started quacking at me like a duck. Now let's get a clean qualifying lap with nobody in the way. Okay, let's try that again. I know this lap wasn't my personal best, but I was able to put down a 20.738, which should get me into the main event. All right, I'm gonna be coming out for my Q2 here. Didn't have that good of a lap in Q1. Right now I'm sitting right on the cusp of getting into the A main race, but I got a new car. I haven't ran a lap in this one in probably two months. It's been tuned, it's been upgraded. So let's see how number 20 fares for me. As you set your fastest lap, how did it feel to you? Man, coming through here this lap, it just felt, it was just sensational. Sensational. I was so happy for you. I had to come over and congratulate you for breaking your new personal best. Twenty point four, baby. Two sets, two point two up. Point two up. Good shit, dude. Good shit. What did you do, Ron? Uh, these are in the B. Are you serious? How? I don't know. Oh, you have 20.42? Yeah, dude, that's fine. That was a good call. Probably. Alex! Alex, hey, I know you from YouTube! Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> Is mine going? Yours is going, you're good. Sick, sick. Appreciate it. I don't like that this one's like a, it's really weird. The pedal yeah. on this one, look at this resistance. Yeah. I'm throwing it. Brakes. Questionable. Fortunately, I never needed to use the brakes because this cart is too slow. I was only able to put down a 21.245 which means I did not improve from Q1. So, let's go racing. Alrighty, it is time for the first Grand Prix race of the season. Warming up these tires and doing our wiggle waggles, feeling like a real race car driver. Also, before we go racing, a big shout out to Ben. Not only did he provide this amazing footage from the rear end of the pace car that he's driving, he also tunes each of these cars to get to an even playing field for all of us to enjoy. With the pace car pulled in, the leader will take us through the not Geico start zone. As we get the green flag, I get a horrible jump. Now let's sit back and enjoy this opening lap.
as now we're gonna cut over to my lap one went a little differently I'm making early lunge going into turn one and if you no longer go for a gap that exists you're no longer a racing driver so I'm able to get my nose in there but I just do not get a good line going into this next straightaway and my cart just wasn't getting that good top speed. I had decent acceleration, but I just could not get that high end speed everyone else had in the front of the pack. Meanwhile, my cart was only going backwards. There must have been something broken with it. It ain't got no gas in it. As I try to set up the switchback, I see a crash and pull and think to go around the outside for that only to hurt me more. Coming back to my race, these two guys have a little uh, fracas going into turn four and I try and take advantage of it, but I just can't get a good run because my cart wanted to shit the bed today. These guys are just having a little fun time going everywhere on the track and I'm just getting caught up in all the traffic. Not able to make much of a move here. This little guy gets in my way, spins out, I just... I plow through him if I'm being honest because there's nothing else to do there. And I'll just take the free position. And this brings out our first caution. We are back to green flag racing. Unfortunately, I still keep dropping back because my cart is so slow. That's enough of my complaining. Let's see how Ty's doing. Uh, yeah, so I lost my camera. I don't really know what happened. It just fell off into my lap. So we're going to just get in like two laps of some nice uh, first person times two. Yeah, I mean, we're going to real good look at how I turn this steering wheel. And there goes the camera. After Ty yeets his camera, I decided to yeet this guy. I'm sorry, man. After trying to force that move, my cart seemed to be running a little slower than everybody else's and basically just rode around the back of the pack until the race was over. Checker flag flies and Alex takes the win. As the rest of us takes our final lap, Ty ends up finishing in 6th place and then I come home in 12th. Oh, what a disappointment for us to lose so many positions this race. But we have learned so much about the other racers and how they race, and that's only going to help us get better as the weeks go on. Until next time, be sure to like this video and smash the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other GP races and other content that we may be posting to the channel. In the meantime, has anybody seen Ty's camera? <laughs> it's all good, thankfully. No?